like our mozzarella or tofu. Gracias. We made it, barely. Our Uber said we were gonna get here three minutes early. We ended up getting here five minutes late. Let's see what we can find out about San Jose. Illustrious history. <laughs> and I've been doing this tour for a couple of years already. I really like this yoga and I will do my best to show you what I consider the best of the city as well. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them and I, if I don't know the answer, I'll Google it. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> so. Interesting things we've learned so far. <laughs> Costa Rica means rich coast because when the Spanish um, colonists came over they found a bunch of gold that the indigenous people had made um, relics out of so they called it rich coast to encourage other colonizers to come to this area as well ends up there wasn't that much gold and so a lot of people were disappointed but um, that's where it got its name three weeks this thing was fully raised and that's how it become one of the most public uh, efficient public constructions in the history of Costa Rica all right people so now we're going to continue walking to show you a couple of really <laughs> this is a far cry from the five degrees Fahrenheit we left behind. So <laughs> we're enjoying life no matter what's happening. So we just found out that a lot of the architecture here is built in the classical style. I think they were built in the 1820s, 1840s. So there's these, you know, modern skyscrapers right next to these intricate, beautiful buildings. And unfortunately, he said there's not a lot of awareness or interest in preserving these buildings, which is sad because this building was the first cinema in Costa Rica, and now it's just an abandoned building in ruins. It's Mark Twain. <laughs> the National Theater, they wanted it to feel like a European theater, so they hired an Italian architect, they imported marvel and other materials from Italy and they set out on this huge project to build this elaborate theater and they have one of the most beautiful coffee shops inside so we might have to hit that up later. <laughs> And in 1948, this man attempted to become president again. But now the tension was very big. There was a lot of opposition against the government. So we just learned about this plaza, which is kind of their social services monument. So we've got this building here that was inspired when communism was kind of at its height in the 70s. They have a United Healthcare Service. They have a lot of different government programs. And so this plaza is kind of a monument to that. And he was also explaining to us that the statue over there is of the man who kind of started the wave that led to this big civil war and they decided to just completely demilitarize altogether. So that is why Costa Rica has no army today. They just inaugurated the new Congress building in 2020, so it's only a little over a year old. They went for a new style of architecture. It's basically a big cement box with no windows on the outside, but windows on the inside to provide that natural light. And he wanted the Congress to symbolically represent the people. So they're all on the first floor, the lowest level, so that the people can symbolically see what they're doing and hold them accountable. So fun fact about the big spears in front of the Congress building, they're made out of stone. They were actually made by indigenous people here 1,500 to 2,000 years ago. They have found 500 of them so far. I don't know how or why they were created. He said it could also be aliens, so there's that. So this building is an old elementary school that was built based on the Eiffel Tower. So it's made entirely of metal. All of the pieces were constructed in Belgium and then imported over here, and it's pretty cool. So they call it the metallic building. It's cork tree, exactly. Cork. It's cork, exactly. And so why do we oh. have cork trees here in the middle of San Jose? Well, they actually imported these trees so that they could make corks for their liquor. <laughs> so they're not actually native to Costa Rica. It's really weird. They're like squishy, like... <laughs> 
it's hard to probably see that in the camera. We completed the same point of the San Jose free walking tour and I'd like to thank you a lot for being part of the tour. I hope that you enjoyed such as I did. And if you have any questions... So we just finished up our walking tour and now we're gonna go see if we can try to find some food. We're going to the main Central Market Hub. Mercado Central. They have a lot of authentic, cheap, delicious food. It's like an indoor market with a bunch of different vendors. So we're gonna go see if we can find it. We weren't sure if the market would accept credit cards. I'm assuming it's gonna be small vendors. So we pulled out some money and their money is just really pretty. It's clear on part of it. It's kind of plasticky, very colorful. So we just took out 30,000 which I think is about forty-seven dollars, forty-seven US, US dollars. dollars. The conversion is not super easy here, so you really have to think it through or get on your Google and convert it. But all right, let's go find some food, huh? Got done with lunch and it was absolutely delicious. Muy bien. Top notch. <laughs> but we learned that our Spanish is not nearly as good as we had hoped. We... Duolingo doesn't quite translate here. <laughs> we have to practice using it and speaking to real people. Yes, yes. So thankfully there was a friend next to us that spoke both English and Spanish and was able to translate for us and multiple customers. Um, but the food was very good and the people were very nice. They just didn't speak English. By the end of this trip, I want to be able to confidently walk into a restaurant and order and interact with the people. Yes. So that's my goal. That's our goal. We can do it. After our walking tour, we really just wanted to settle in and get some work done. So we did a lot of work, and now we are celebrating at Nana Falafel, a falafel restaurant just down the street from our apartment. We Literally, like a... <laughs> a one minute walk. <laughs> it was fantastic. So we got the falafel plate with rice, falafel, hummus, and Israeli salad, and hummus and shawarma with pita bread. I'm so excited. Hummus has become one of my favorite things recently. I'm really excited to head to the Middle East eventually and get some legit hummus, but this looks incredible. Mm. Wow, that's actually not what I was expecting. It's very, um, <laughs> very tahini-y. Ooh, ooh, you have to get it with the oil. That's what I did wrong. Mm. You mix it with this oily sauce. Oh my gosh, the flavor is wow. Incredible. Incredible. Let me try this chicken. Tender, flavorful, just the right amount of salt. It's like, it's like a flavor explosion. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Today, we're gonna do a free walking tour of San Jose. Oh, yes, that's right. And let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit congested still. We slept four hours at your aunt's house, and then we slept four hours the night before at our house. Mm, oh, right, yeah. I just 
just want to live here forever. <laughs> One thing we've realized on this tour is that they're pretty much doing construction on every block. They made replicas and they changed it. If you want to go to the lobby, you can see the quality of paper. And behind us over here is a statue to Our Lady of Perpetual Propellers. What did you say? I said it looks like a fancy prison. 